Hi guys, welcome back to another video. Today I'm gonna to share with you five healthy habits that are worth starting in 2019. Welcome back to my channel, you guys. My name is Neha, if you're new, and I run this YouTube channel and my blog called Neha Beauty, all about beauty and wellness. Welcome. The first healthy habit that I'm gonna share with you to start in 2019 is drinking more water. Water is so important for the body, for your tummy, for your brain. Our bodies are mostly made up of water, so being dehydration can cause all sorts of issues for you throughout the day. For me, if I haven't had enough water, I'll start to get a dull headache, and it's just a matter of sipping a little bit more water rather than taking medicine. So what I like to do is carry around a refillable bottle with me all day long, and I keep one um, also at my desk at work, and I just refill it throughout the day. Basically what you wanna do is aim for half your body weight in ounces of water. So if for example, you weigh 150 pounds, you wanna aim for 75 ounces of water per day for your body. And if you're exercising or on the go, you actually wanna aim for a little bit more than that too because you are sweating out water. The second healthy habit that I am incorporating more of in 2019 is daily gratitude. There are tons of really great apps out there or you can use a simple notebook at home, but it's a wonderful habit to sit down at the end of your day, right when you're winding down and getting ready for bed, to write down one, two, or three, or even five things that you are grateful for from today. And even on my absolute worst days, asking myself and prompting myself to think about something I'm grateful for is such an amazing habit. It instantly changes my mindset and my perspective on things. So even on the days when you've had a terrible day, a hard day, everything maybe went wrong, um, be grateful that you have food in your fridge, you have clothes on your body, you have a roof over your head. Um, it's really, really a powerful shift to stop and think about the things that we are grateful for on a daily basis. The third thing that I think you should try out this year are affirmations. If you've heard of an amazing expert called Louise Hay, she was talking about positivity and gratitude and the power of positive thinking and affirmations years ago. I mean decades ago. She used to have books on tape and stuff that were really awesome. You should definitely look her up. But um, she used to promote this idea of doing mirror work, meaning looking at yourself in a mirror and speaking positive affirmations to yourself and over time um, your heart will kind of open up and start receiving that messaging more and more so saying to yourself you are amazing you are strong you are powerful over time hearing that repeatedly in your mind will help you transform and say I am strong, I am powerful, I am amazing. So this is just something that you can do early in the morning, right when you wake up. You don't even have to do it in front of a mirror if you don't want to, but just right when you wake up while you're still under the covers, in your mind you can just close your eyes, take a deep breath, and start going through a few affirmations about things that you're trying to work on in yourself. Another healthy habit that I'm trying to get back into is actually drinking lemon water. Now I know I mentioned water earlier, but I like having a little bit of lemon water first thing in the morning right when I wake up, before coffee and tea and before any caffeine. Um, lemon is really alkalizing and it's really, really good for your stomach and digestion. And of course, it's a citrus, so packed with vitamin C, which is so, so good for your skin. Also, lemon water is just really, really refreshing and it kind of wakes you up. And um, for me anyway, I feel like I don't need a cup of coffee right away. I can kind of prolong that a little bit later. And it's just a fun way to get in more water too, if you're, if you're not a big water drinker to begin with. The last healthy habit that I think everyone should try to fold in more of is meal planning and meal prepping. So I'm in a pretty good routine of this, but it's important for me to stay on top of it and not let it slip. I like to take a look at what's in my fridge around Thursday, Friday to figure out what do I need to use up, what would I like to make the next week, and from there I will make my grocery list based on the meals that I know I want to make for the week. I'm talking breakfast, lunches, dinners, snacks, the whole thing. I plan it all out. And what that helps me with is I don't overspend at the grocery store. I don't buy stuff that doesn't have a purpose. 
And then also as the week is progressing, I'm gradually using up all the food that I bought. So very little ends up going to waste at the end of the week. The times that I don't have a meal prepped or some kind of a plan in mind or printed on the refrigerator, those are the times that I tend to slip up with my healthy eating regimen. So having a plan in advance is great. And if you choose to go out to dinner or change your mind during the week, that's okay. You can flex and adjust based on what's going on in your life and what you would like to do. But having a plan is, and changing your mind is so much better than not having a plan at all. So those are my five healthy habits that I wanted to share with you for 2019. Let me know what is part of your routine that works really well for you down in the comments. I would love to hear what you're up to. Uh, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe for more. I hope you enjoyed this video, and I will see you in the next one. Bye!